Welcome to handprepper.com. Today I'm going to show you a very simple method to build a random wire antenna using a piece of coax and these banana plug adapters that are made for test equipment. Now, these banana adapters take the shield and connect them to the black side. They take the center pin and connect them to the red side. This is the opposite. Um, gender, but it does the same thing. The shield is connected to the black side. The center pin is connected here where I put this piece of tape and colored it red because it wasn't marked. Um, that's all it does. Now we can take these adapters and we can connect them to our radio in a method back to back like this. And what this does is it uses the shield or the ground on the radio and that goes to the center pin of the coax. It takes the center pin of the coax and puts it on the shield. And that's what's important. For the coax to act like a wire antenna, we need to use the shield as the radiative element. And this here doesn't have to be connected. I found in testing it doesn't really matter. You can do this but you are going to want to ground your antenna. So you can either connect it like this and then go off to the side here with your station ground or you can connect it like this to where just the center pins hooked up and then connect it to your station ground. Either way works just fine. I don't see any difference in uh, the signal strength. So let me show you now how uh, how this works in practice. Okay, here's my antenna or my coax. Um, this is where I'm shooting the uh, video from. Radio piece of paper that I was writing on. Here's the antenna. We'll follow it outside. It goes down here and out the window, up through the egress and outside. Here's the uh, coax coming up the egress window draped up over the side of the house to the window crossed over to the deck and then it's sort of wrapped around this light up here. Alright this is my ICOM R2500 and this is a remote face here and um, we're going to use it for our test today. This wire here, this red wire, is actually connected to my station ground and we'll utilize that here also. I'll go ahead and turn the radio on and let's tune it to a good known strong signal. Something that we can use for a test. So we'll tune it to 10 megahertz, WWV. All right, I'm going to take my coax. This coax is outside just laying around coiled on things and connect it to the antenna by itself with no you know without switching the shield to the center. In this case you can still hear WWV because it's quite a strong signal. But what's happening is the shield of the coax is doing exactly what it's meant to do and it's blocking that signal because the center pin of the coax right now is acting as your antenna. The shield is, is essentially floating or grounded. You can ground it. You can see a little difference but in theory most radios should operate in the grounded method. I can ground the radio like this just grounding the chassis this just comes into the second antenna adapter connector and shield the shield and the chassis get grounded that way now let's let's take this off and connect it the way I showed you with the BNC to banana adapters now we go like this and you can see our shield comes and goes to our center pin our center pin goes to the shield of the antenna and that's what's important. Now the shield of the antenna is connected to the center pin. Hopefully we'll see a dramatic increase in signal. Yes. 
Okay. So now, let's ground this. Reduce a little noise. Alright, so you can see here we jumped up to you know, one to three S units at times. This is band conditions, but it's obvious that we have a much, much stronger signal into the receiver. Now let's go ahead and pull this back out and connect it with just the center pin. I don't notice, I mean, a lot of difference here. We go back this way. About the same signal. So connecting that center pin for receiving purposes doesn't seem to make much difference. Um, and that uh, should work just fine for receiving antenna. It's laying, like I said, it's just laying up there. You could lay it in the grass, you could run it along an antenna. Anything you can do with a wire, you can do with this. So, it, it very simple method, no soldering, nothing. You can ground your station. And you've got an in-fed antenna. Now, for transmitting purposes, I wouldn't just plug that into your transmitter and go. You're going to end up with all kinds of RF in the shack. Um, you can use this as an in-fed antenna, but you're going to need an uh, antenna tu tuner or an in-fed match and so on. But just keep in mind that in a pinch, in an emergency, you have wire if you have coax. And you can use that as your antenna. Any size coax. You could you know, conceivably use inch and five-eighths Andrews Heliax or... RG174, tiny, tiny stuff, like this RG316 here that I use for my IF taps. So, any size coax, if you use the shield, I, and you don't have to have these connectors, you could solder them, twist the ends together and solder them. There are a whole bunch of different methods of building an antenna out of coax. Um, and if you search the literature, maybe I'll put some links in here, there are some... Uh, methods of using the coax and using its properties to enhance the antenna. So that's uh, something to look at too. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, simple method of turning a piece of coax into a random wire antenna will be useful. Uh, hopefully the adapters, just learning about the adapters will be useful. And uh, thanks as always for following us and um, reading the blog. So until next time, we'll catch you guys later in 73s.